Hi there. I'm pretty sure that you already know what a pin is in chess. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining what a counter pin is. Let's take a look at this first position where we notice that the white queen and king are on the same diagonal. Black has a dark squared bishop, so he can move his bishop to g5, creating what seems like a very nasty pin. However, if we pay close attention, we also notice that the um, black king and bishop are on the same diagonal and white can do a counter pin with bishop to h4. Now the bishop which is pinning our pieces is itself being pinned by our own bishop. It turns out, however, that the white king is too exposed in this position and black can exploit that with queen to d6. Now the queen is overloaded, okay? It can't move because then the king would be in check. That would be obviously illegal. And if the king moves out of the way, black can simply take the queen for free. Okay, a pretty basic example with very few pieces on the board, but that's what it's all about when we're um, being introduced to a topic. Okay, a simple counter pin. Let's move on and let's see our next position, which is quite similar. We have the queen and the king on the same file and white can put his rook here protected by the bishop. Now, if black doesn't want to lose his queen next move, he must go rook here, which creates a counter pin. Obviously, if we take the rook, he takes back with the bishop and we gain nothing. But that king on e8 is too exposed and we can exploit this with queen to h5. Is a check, the queen is overloaded now, the queen can't take because the king would be in check. And that means when the king moves out of the way, we can simply take the queen for free. So that was another example, but let's move on to our first counter, counter pin. Actually, not this one. <laughs> okay, this is a position from the famous game Boleslavski against Bisgir from the Helsinki Chess Olympiad back in 1952. Now, in the game, White did not play this move, but it was a possible variation. Uh, if White had taken that, then the rook can pin our queen, and then we've got a counter pin, which not only attacks the rook, but also threatens queen to g7, which is a cool checkmate. However, um, Black can exploit this position with queen to b1, which is a check, and the queen is overloaded and pinned. So Black is winning White's queen next move. Okay, nothing too special about that position. Let's move on. And this is our first counter counter pin. I composed this position a few days ago for this tutorial. And White's the exchange up here, but Black's got the two bishops, so it's not easy. So we got Rook here, pinning the bishop. And now our own Rook can get pinned with Bishop to e6. However, and this is and this is a counter pin, bishop b6 is a counter pin, but we've got what we call a counter counter pin with bishop to f5. So the bishop which is pinning our rook, which is pinning the other bishop, is itself being pinned. So the only move black can play here is bishop takes bishop, but then rook takes check, and we pick up the bishop. Okay. Okay, it's kind of a funny position, the original position, you know, very few pieces on the board, but um, it's a good explanation of what, of what a counter counter pin is all about. Let's move on to more complex examples. Okay, I composed this position a few years back when I was first interested in the topic of counter pins. The first move is pretty obvious. We pin that rook on c6 then he must play at rook to a5, pinning the bishop, which is pinning his rook. And then we've got a counter, counter pin with rook to a4. And then when he takes, then we can take on c6, we pick up the rook and the pawn will promote and win the game. Very similar position to the ones that we've seen before. Um, it shows you what a counter, pin, counter, counter pin is all about. And, um, uh, when I was thinking about pins, counter pins, and counter counter pins, I was thinking, is it possible to do a counter 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 pin? And I came up with this position, which is quite funny. Okay, the first move is pretty obvious: rook to g6, pinning the queen and the king. 
And if he doesn't want to lose the next move, he must play at bishop to f7, which pins the rook. It's a counter pin. This is the first counter pin. Then we pin the bishop, which is counter pin in our rook. And then he must play rook to b5, which is pinning the bishop, which is counter pinning his bishop, which is counter pinning, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, and uh, it's quite a crazy position with pins and counter pins. Um, however, white's got a very interesting move here. I'm not sure if it's the only one, but I think it works. Well, actually, it doesn't work, but I don't think he's got anything else. Okay, queen to e5, which threatens queen takes g7. He can't take this. He can't take... Actually, he can take with the um, the queen on, g, on g6. But let's see it this way. Yeah, rook takes d5. I think it amounts to the same thing. Rook takes d5. Now we go queen takes. And now he takes on g6, knight takes, bishop takes, we've got a knight fork, and then when we move our, our king, after all those pins, counter pins, counter counter pins, and counter 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 pins, suddenly black goes rook to a5, a simple pin, and wins the game. How funny is that? <laughs> okay, let's move on and see our next position. And this is another position which I composed a few days ago about pins and counter pins. Okay, um, this is going to be a puzzle. I let you work it out, you know, and you can you can add your comment to it. See if you can if you can actually work it out. Okay, I think it's kind of cute. It's got it's it's actually it's got a pin counter pin counter 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 pin, and then something else happens. Okay, see if you can work it out. It's white to move here. White to move. And I've got another puzzle for you, okay? And this one features a pin, counter pin, and then something happens, okay? See if you can work it out, okay? Can white win here, white to move? This is puzzle number two, white to move. Can you work it out? And finally, um, another similar position, and this is puzzle number three, white to move, again, these example features, a pin, counter pin, and counter counter pin. See if you can work it out. White to move. It's your go. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye. See the subscribe button? Hug it. Show it some love. But above all, click it. And don't forget to visit our website, chess.clinic.